Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You get to see them dance and sing for about three minutes at assemblies, but how much time is really spent on their performance? Find out more. Also find out what, or what you, what, why you get Monday off, and what the government encourages you to do on Monday. All this and more today on FST News. Today is February, Wednesday, February 10th, 2016. I'm Zach Salisbury. And I'm Summer Reyes. You might see the sh show choir perform at our school assemblies, but FST News reporter Angela Ely informs us on what they do all year long and what's coming up for them. There are lots of classes here at Foothill, but only a few can have you up on your feet singing and dancing. Show choir is a class here at Foothill, and it is offered to all four grades. Junior Timmy Lauder tells us a little bit about the class. I don't know, we just joke around a lot, which it's kind of bad sometimes, but it's really fun because we make a lot of, like, we make music, but we have fun doing it. So. If you go to any assemblies, you may have seen a show choir performance or two, but junior Haley Render tells us what they're really working towards all year long. As of right now, I think our next, like, performance would be our show choir show, which is at the end of the year in May, and that's what we work towards all year. The choir is always looking for new members, regardless of singing and dancing abilities. Junior Dylan Coberto tells us why you should join show choir. Show choir, even though you, uh, if you lack in dance or if you lack in singing, but you're stronger in either of those, like, you'll be accepted into the family, doesn't matter who you are, what you do, as long as you have a passion for dancing and singing, show choir is for you. For Jeremy Corhonen, I'm Angela Ely, FST News. The next show choir performance you can see is at our next school assembly, which is in the spring assembly later this year. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and if you haven't figured out what you want to get that special someone, then you're in luck because the horticulture is selling Valentine's flowers in vases or stuffed animals. Prices are going to range anywhere from $3 to $20. They are going to be sold during lunch in the lunchroom on the stage today through Friday. They will also be sold after school in room 306. You might think Monday will be just an extra day to sleep and avoid our homework, but the whole reason we have it off is to honor presidents. President's Day was placed between George Washington's and Abraham Lincoln's birthday to give us one day off rather than two. But the day is supposed to be spent paying a tribute to these two presidents along with each and every other person who has ever been president. Champions at work, do not forget that there is a SkillsUSA meeting today in Ad Advisor Lori Haynes' room, room three, four, 743. At 1.30, full dress is required and it is very important that you attend today's meeting. The American Red Cross does a lot for people who experience emergencies like home fires, floods, and more. Foothills chapter of the Red Cross has a meeting tomorrow in room 730 at 125 after school where members are going to schedule donors for their blood drive at McDonald's later this month. When we come back, Marquise will tell you all about the latest and greatest Black History hero. Then Zach will catch you up on everything with sports. Nobody asked me to say these, bro. Nobody's ever gonna ask you to say these. Bro. I think, I think this is just me spitballing here. What if we go to say these? As bros? Yeah, just as bros. Bro. 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 <laughs> yeah. Bro. <laughs> bro. I was planning on starting the segment off by singing a little song, but I don't think I should give you guys a migraine on this wonderful Wednesday. This is Black History Heroes. 
James West was born in Prince County, Virginia in 1931. When working for Bell Labs, West developed electric transducer technology. This technology is used to, en to enhance audio in 90% of microphones today. I don't know about the West of you, but I think James, Re James West really revolutionized the way we hear the sweet sound of music. That's all I have for today. Now over to Zach with sports. Thanks, Marquise. And what's up, Falcons? The basketball team won their games last night. The JV team won 89 to 75. The freshman team also won 68 to 54. The basketball team is battling our rival basic. The boys freshman team is the first to face off against them today at 3.30. Then the boys JV and girls varsity are next at 5. And the, finally, the boys varsity and girls JV are at 6.30. Since, since it is against our rival, everyone should go and show support for our boys and girls varsity teams. The flag football team's last home game is today against Green Valley. The JV team begins at 3.30, the varsity team is kicking off at 4.30, and the freshman team is last at 6. The wrestling regional playoffs are starting on Friday and ends on Saturday. The, they start on Friday over at Green Valley at 4 p.m. Then on Saturday, it starts at 9 a.m. and is expected for, uh, to end at either 6 or 7 p.m. The girls' varsity bowling team is going farther into the regionals. They, are, they won their regional quarterfinals match against Liberty yesterday. They won 9-0 as they normally do. Their next match is today against Silverado at 3 at the Orleans. That's all the sports news I have for you today. Now back over to Summer with more school news. Sadie's is next week. There's no school on Monday due to President's Day. And then Tuesday kicks off the week with Mix and Match Day. So we want to see everyone in the craziest patterns and the weirdest color combinations. Then Wednesday is Crazy Hair Day, so put in the most ponytails as possible, or color your hair different colors with spray, or just get creative. Then Thursday is Animal Print Day because there are two types of carnivals, the boardwalk and the clown animal kind. So we want to see you all in the animal print possible. And lastly is Twin Day for everyone to match with their Sadie's date so that later when they go to the dance, they don't have to change. They can be in their casual, matchy carnival wear. And Saturday, you can go out with your date to something off campus. And then make sure you are all decked out in Spirit Week gear next week because we have some amazing opportunities at lunch for all the Falcons with the most spirit. Like, oh, I don't know, shoving a pie in an administrator's face. Well, Falcons, that's all the news we have for you today. From all of us at FST News to you, have a wonderful Wednesday.